Would everyone that is able please bow your head in silence as we pray. God, we come to you thanking you for another wonderful day. Congratulations to the Port Allen High School class of 2020 and all graduates around the world. God, it is their time to be handed the torch and make our world a better place. God, please protect them. Give them the wisdom and strength needed to do your will. God, please bless everyone in attendance today. Please give everyone traveling grace so we can all make it to our destination safely. God, as we have all been navigating through difficult and unprecedented times these past few months, we continue to be grateful for the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Please guide us through these difficult times. Please heal those who are sick and comfort those who have lost loved ones. God, we give you all of the glory, praise, and honor, and we ask all of these things in your loving son Jesus' name as we end, and all together we say amen and go pals. Good afternoon, Pelican family. It is so amazing to see all of us gather here today for one mission to celebrate. My name is Alani Antoine, and I'm your class of 2020 salutatorian. Welcome to the time we thought would never come, the time in which we celebrate each one of ourselves as an individual, all of our accomplishments, the memories we shared, the laughs we laughed, and the tears we've cried. This is it. We finally did it. This is our transition to adulthood. I would first like to thank God for his grace and mercy. Without him, none of us would be here today. I would also like to thank my loving and supportive family who has been there every step of the way. Last, but most definitely not least, I would like to thank the Port Allen High School staff who you are extremely blessed to have and call our own. Through all the havoc and confusion, they put us at their top tier and have not forsaken us. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. The gratitude and thankfulness we have for you is unable to be expressed through words. Still, if I had to choose any, they would be thank you for seeing the potential in us that we may not have seen in ourselves and going the extra mile in all you do to get us where we are today. I can remember my first official day of high school as a freshman. I stopped Mr. Jackson before class and I told him, these are about to be the longest four years ever. He laughed and he said, Alana, you're gonna be surprised at how fast you'll be walking across that stage receiving your diploma. Now this may not be the way we expected to end and start our new chapter of our lives, but let's bask in the now and appreciate what we have together. Graduation is the moment we have been yearning for since before we can remember. The thought of losing that momentous occasion seemed criminal, but I said that to say this. God gives his hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. This was our preparation period. We have received the armor we need to sustain, to fight, and to keep going. We are fully equipped from head to toe with the knowledge, ability, and willpower to be something with credit due to each and every person at Port Allen High School. We came together as a community and made the most of what we had, and this is what should be the fuel to our fire for us to keep going. We are crossing the final finish line, right here, right now. As we go through our life, we are continually writing our own unique stories. Each decision you make in life is a part of your story plot line. The story is filled with twists, turns, moments of jubilation, and defeat. And it all makes, what, it all makes us who we are today. The first few chapters of our stories are written. We completed that with the help of our family, friends, and teachers. We are now our sole authors of our own story. It is up to each of us to make our own story as exciting, impressive, and unique as possible. The power is wholly within ourselves. So tell me, how will you end your story? I want to start by thanking everyone for coming out and witnessing this unforgettable experience. I want to thank God first for giving me the honor to stand in front of you all and deliver the Port Allen High School Class of 2020 Valedictorian speech. Special thanks to Mr. Jackson, the staff members of Port Allen High School, the West Baton Rouge School Board members, family, friends, and citizens of West Baton Rouge for supporting and guiding us the members of Port Allen High School, Class of 2020. I wanted to take a moment to first give special thanks to the significant individuals in my life who molded me to be the individual I am today. First to my dad. Without him, I would not be up here at all. From my first appearance in the hospital to now, he has never left my side. My dad is not only my father, but my rock, my savior, my best friend, my everything. Without him, I could not be anywhere close to the young man I am today. Second, for my mom, Michelle, without her, I would not even know what it would be like to have a mother figure in my life. She has accepted me as her own, and I will never be able to thank her enough for what she has done and continues to do. Thanks to both of my parents, I now have a new addition to our family for whom I would give my last breath. This third significant individual is someone I hope would be right where I am now. Someone who made me realize the little things. My little brother Preston. 
I love you, buddy, and remember you're next. Lastly, to my Mima and Papa, thank you for all the wisdom and laughs. I am the luckiest grandson with the most fortunate grandparents. Thank you to everyone else who has impacted my life to make me into the young man I am today. Now to my class. I know this is not how we all expected our senior year to go, but here we are. All of you wanted to go out with a bang, right? Well, they can never say that we did not leave our mark, because everyone will remember the year the whole country was on lockdown and came to a halt. Therefore, they will remember the class of 2020. Speaking to you all this evening is a pleasure. Four years ago, I would have never thought I would be the individual to deliver the valedictorian speech for our class. However, now that opportunity is here, I want you all to know before we go out into this real world as young mature adults, never to forget where you came from, nor the individuals who have helped make you into who you are right now. Some of us have had different paths, but it has only made us into the people we are. Many of us said throughout these four years that we are sick of this place, cannot wait to leave, and that we are never coming back. But again, never forget that this is the place that has opened the doors you are about to walk through and prepared us all for the world waiting on us to enter. Whether you are going to college for academics, sports, or not going to college at all, I want to wish you all the best in your future. We have all worked so hard to achieve this accomplishment and deserve what we are about to receive. Remember, life is a privilege. It's what you do with it that makes it a gift. These past four years have been indescribable. It's so hard to put your four years of high school into words. After four years with the same group of people, we have become connected as a family. We all had someone we could trust, someone we could talk to when needed, or just someone there when we were lonely. We, of course, had ups and downs, but it is like that with everything. I have to say that these past four years have been the fastest four years of my life, as I am sure they have been for all of you as well. I will miss these years and the numerous people who have impacted me within them. It feels like just yesterday we thought we were cool to be in high school and ready to get out. But now we are tearing up and second guessing our wishes for graduation to hurry up and come already. There are a million memories we have shared throughout those four years. We have had our shares of laughs, tears, successes, and memories that led us to believe we would never reach May 23rd, 2020. But through it all, I have to say, we made it. I want to tell all of you once again, congratulations, good luck, and God bless. Thank you so much to Peyton Ryan O'Lind, your valedictorian uh, for the 2020 class of Port Allen High School. Uh, Kate, I think it's about that time, man. We are just about up to the presentation of diplomas, which means this big car parade is going to roll right on through right in front of Port Allen High School to get the class of 2020 underway. Yeah. Um, you want to run down what, uh, for those that are, you know, yeah, sitting radio in their cars audience, right now. Uh, to paint the picture of what we're going to be doing. So we're in the front of the campus of Port Allen High School, and we've got, uh, we've got principal... Uh, Mr. James Jackson on the, uh, the, the podium, the riser here in front of the, the campus, the line of cars of the students in alphabetical order, uh, of course, with the valedictorian and leading off the way. And behind, yes. Yeah. So they're going to come up to the podium one by one, mm -hmm. following the social distance guidelines. They're going to get out of their car, the student uh, will, and receive his or her diploma. Uh, photograph, I'm sure, will be taken. And then they will get back in their car to kind of proceed into uh, a parade of sorts for them on the back end. But uh, one by one, we're going to get the student on the podium so we keep those social distance guidelines. And I believe, uh, without further ado, as you would say, we're going to get ready with Mr. James Jackson on the podium to bring in our first graduate. All right, we are underway. You see that sheriff's vehicle leading the parade as it comes through. Uh, Mr. Peyton Ryan O'Lind is going to be our first uh, graduate receiving a diploma today. Peyton is a uh, Port Allen, of course, class of 2020 valedictorian. He's been on the honor roll and principals list all four years. Brian uh, Peyton was a member of the student athlete advisory club. He was a member of the football team for two years, the baseball team all four years. He was awarded the Golden Glove, Defensive MVP, Offensive MVP, and Playoff MVP for baseball. And I'm not finished yet. <laughs> After graduation, he plans to work at Dow as a certified electrician or own his own lawn serve business, a little bit of an entrepreneur in uh, Peyton Ryan O'Lynn. Not to mention just delivered that fantastic address a moment ago as Peyton is uh, already on the stage, the first one across, receiving his diploma and get, receiving uh, what much do congratulations along the way. 
Up next is our salutatorian for the class of 2020, Elaine Capri Antoine. You heard her address just a moment ago as well. Okay. Yeah, Elaine has uh, been on the honor roll and principals list all four years. Um, she was a member of the Christian Fellowship Club and the Cooking with Soul Club, where she served as treasurer. She was a member of the volleyball and powerlifting teams all four years as well. Um, she was a member of the track team for two years, also a member of the cheerleading team for three, where she served as co-captain her senior year, was a member of the Royal Blue Dance team during her senior year. After graduation, Eleni plans to attend Southeastern lineup uh, and uh, pursue a degree in nursing or criminal justice. Absolutely, Eleni making her way on the stage right now to receive her diploma as well. Hey, quick reminder, today's uh, ceremonies brought to you by Neighbors Federal Credit Union. Also, uh, Mayor Scott Rhodes from Brulee says congratulations, 2020 graduates. This has been unprecedented. Learn from it. Grow from it. You'll be better for living it. Enjoy your accomplishments and attack the world and make a difference. Up next, as our valedictorian and salutatorians both have received their diplomas, Dante Tyrese Allen is up next. Very, very happy crowd here at uh, Port Allen High School. Um, waiting on our next graduate, Brian, I'll, I guess I'll call it out. No, that. Dante Tyrese yeah. Allen is up next. Yep. Dante was a member of the Christian Fellowship of Athletes. He played football for three years for the Pelicans and ran track for two. He received certifications in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, customer service, serve safe, and front desk representatives. After graduation, Dante does plan to attend BRCC to study graphic arts, and then transfer to ULL for a yet another criminal justice student. Which brings us to our next graduate from the 2020 class of Port Allen High School. That'd be Jai Jamarquez Allen. As Jai's rolling up with, uh, I'm looking at a, uh, a big basketball poster on the grill of the truck. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's where the description's going to take us. Yeah, he was a member of the Beta Club for a year, cooking with Soul Club. He was a member of the state championship basketball team for four years. Uh, Jai received awards for being on the honor roll and made his uh, first team all-district basketball. After graduation, Jai plans to major in process technology. Congratulations, Jai, as he makes his way uh, back off the stage now, which along with their diploma, I believe there's a gift bag going out to all the graduates as well. Absolutely. Uh, as we were explained earlier, mm -hmm. all of today's sponsors contributing want to make sure they, that, that today's graduates get a little something special along the way. Up next, we have Abby Nicole Bodiford. Abby was a member of the Dodgeball Club. That would have been a fun club to be in when we were in school. Uh, she was a member right, of Cotton. the softball team for three years and was named captain her senior year. She received awards for being on the honor roll and principal's list. She uh, also made the second team all district for softball. After graduation, she plans to attend BRCC and major in kinesiology. I did not have a dodgeball club at my high school. Did you all have a dodgeball club? No. I'll tell you what. Missed out. If you could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. Up next for the Port Allen High Class of 2020, Caleb, uh, Caleb Jordan Boone. Caleb was a member of the... Uh, Muckbang Club. After graduation, Caleb plans to work in the Exxon Mobile Power Plant right down the road. Yeah, as Caleb gets out of the truck right there, I got to tell you, one of the things that uh, I wasn't really expecting, wasn't really ready for was the decoration. I should have been ready for this. Ready decoration? for the decorations yeah. along the way. Uh, Caleb's uh, family has a, a note on the side of the truck that says, uh, we all love you. And uh, that, that love is being felt uh, throughout the day today as we make our through these graduation ceremonies. Family in a beautiful, beautiful, I mean, everybody's Everybody's like went to You're right. the detail shop. No, got they, they, spot everybody, everybody got it touched up before heading out here. You got to appreciate that. Hey, uh, very quickly, RAPPS Specialty Custom Laser Engraving, one of the sponsors of today's ceremonies, as is CC's Coffee in Port Allen. Right back to it, following Caleb would be Natasha Nicole. Uh, you pronounce this last one for me because you got it right earlier and I got it wrong. Nastasia Nicole Burgoyne. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, Brian, give us the details on Destacia. Yeah, Destacia is an honors graduate who received awards for being on the honor roll and principals list. She's also been recognized as a, as a student of the month. She was a member of the Cooking with Soul Club, where she served as vice president. Destacia was a member of the volleyball team for all four years. After graduation, she plans to attend Southern University to study nursing and become a licensed nurse, nurse practitioner. Congratulations, congratulations. On the way, the uh, next vehicle that is approaching our stage is Janisha Mikkel Boyd, Port Allen graduate of 2020. Janisha was a member of JAG JAG for three years and SGA for two, where she served as treasurer. 
Got to love when they step up to serve in uh, student government. Mm -hmm. After graduation, John Isha plans to attend BRCC for business, then transfer to Southern when she's done with BRCC. She plans to own an event planning business in the future. Congratulations, congratulations John Isha. Thanks so much again to our sponsors, Walk-Ons and Brulee, the Lanois Insurance Agency, all outdoor power and equipment making this happen here on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge. Cade Waz and Brian Haldane for the Port Allen 2020 graduation. Making our way up. Uh, Cade, I believe our next graduate is rolling up right now. Mm -hmm. That would be Deshante Monet Brown. Deshante Monet Brown. Deshante was a member of the Beta Club. She was an SGA for two years and the event and decor club where she served as president. Deshanti was a member of Port Allen High color and winter guard teams. Deshanti has been awarded a $1,000 scholarship from Point Capi Electric. After graduation, Deshanti plans to attend Xavier University to major in pharmacy and one day become a pharmacist. Congratulations, Deshanti. All right, Brian, our next graduate coming up is Jaira T. Buckman. Buchanan. Yeah. Jaira T. Buchanan. Jaira was a member of the Decor Club. She was also a member of the Port Allen High School Color Guard for three years and served as captain her senior year. She was a member of the Winter Guard for one year. After graduation, Jaira plans to attend Southern University and major in sociology. She also plans to go back to school and earn a business degree and start a small business after that. Congratulations, Ms. Buchanan. Job well done. All right, our next graduate, Brian, uh, approaching the stage. Mind you, every graduate getting out one at a time to get on the podium and to uh, meet with Principal Mr. James Jackson to receive their diploma. Our next graduate is Yakira Nicole Chapman. Yakira was a member of the 4-H and event and decor clubs as well. She was a member of the Port Allen High School color and winter guard teams for five years. Yakira received awards for being on the honor roll and for perfect behavior. She received a leadership award for her dedication to the color guard team and placed first in the WGI championships for winter guard. After graduation, Yakira plans to attend Southeastern University to study biochemistry to become an infectologist. She plans to later transfer to Xavier University to further her education and training. A what? A what? Infectologist. Infectologist. That is awesome. Dude, specific goals are where it's That's at. That's awesome. That's that is awesome. where it's at. That's how you know where you get where you're going. As we move forward with a couple more, uh, just to mention a couple more of our sponsors before we get to our yep. next graduate, Total Care Injury and Pain Center says congratulations to all the outstanding 2020 graduates. Keep your head high, your back straight, and always think of the positive possibilities that await you. We wish you wellness and success as you make your way forward. Total Care Injury and Pain Center's Dr. Adam Reeves and Dr. James Pernicairo. Getting out of their vehicle at the moment, the next graduate, Kai Frederick Clay. Kai was a member of the Dodgeball. Uh, There's another Dodgeball member. Yeah. Dodgeball and Outdoors Clubs. He was a member of the Port Allen High football and baseball teams for three years. After graduation, Kai plans to attend BRCC for mechanical engineering and try to walk on for their baseball team as well. Congratulations, Kai. You like you see as these uh, as we read off the names and give you a little information. There's some big goals these students have for their future, and it's awesome to think that they have really put a lot of thought. And, and, and time behind that. Yeah. And, well, you can't, know where you, you can't get where you're going unless you know where you're going, right? Yep. Our next graduate is Timothy Tyler Clements. Timothy's an honor graduate, a four-year member of the Beta Club, a member of the National Society of High School Scholars, National Honor Society, and uh, DECA from his previous school. Timothy was also a member of the soccer club where he served as president. Timothy played soccer for three years, including uh, Port Allen's first soccer team. Also served as team captain for two of those three years. Timothy also spent two years participating in cross country, where he served one year as team captain. He was also three years uh, in track, served as a kicker on the football team at his previous school as well. Timothy's earned numerous awards, including first team all district forward in soccer, MVP varsity soccer, uh, most goals scored, uh, the most goals scored award in soccer. Uh, got a number of other athletic accomplishments as well. He's also got an honor scholarship in the amount of $21,000, the Point Capi Essay Contest Scholarship in the amount of $1,500. Uh, Tyler has been awarded uh, the Tops Honor Scholarship, University of Southern Myth, Miss Academic Excellence Scholarship in the amount of $25,000 as well, with a few other awards on top of that. McDaniel Dotson III, our next graduate from the 2020 class of Port Allen High School. Uh, McDaniel was a member of the basketball club. He was a member of the Port Allen Band for one year. After graduation, McDaniel plans to attend BRCC to study construction management or work at a plant. Coming up next. 
Our next graduate approaching the uh, approaching the stage right now, Tyla Onye Dunn. Tyla is an honors graduate. She was a member of the Christian Fellowship of Athletes, Cooking with Soul, where she served as president, and Beta, where she served as secretary. She was a member of the Port Allen High School volleyball team for one year. Tyler received awards for being on the honor roll, the principal's list, the student of the month, and most improved in AP Human Geography. Also received numerous certifications in customer service, both regional and statewide. Uh, she knows uh, micro got in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and ServeSafe. After graduation, Tyler plans to attend Southern to major in speech pathology and minor in education. Plans to participate in the City Year program to practice her profession while in school. So many kids in the in the, the cooking classes. Cooking in Louisiana is family. And we heard in the salutatorian and valedictorian addresses how much family is important to these students. Yeah. And you could see their pride today, uh, the families that are driving them through. Yeah. That's, that's another uh, interesting part about today's ceremonies, though, is that the, the families are in the car with as yeah. we move forward. Ethan Isley's up next. Yep. Ethan was a member of the soccer, arts, and anime clubs. After graduation, Ethan plans to attend a, uh, to a full sale university, study graphic design, a uh, very interesting field considering the times we are in. It is the time to be in that field. Oh, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, our next graduate rolling up, Anthony Foro. Anthony was a member of the art and anime club. After graduation, Anthony plans to attend BRCC to learn more about automotive mechanics. Anthony Foro. Did we miss somebody? Okay, sorry. Jordan Alexandria Kaitlin Franklin's up next. Jordan was a member of the Ladies of Royalty Club where she served as president. After graduation, Jordan plans to attend Southeastern University to become a nurse practitioner. Congratulations, Jordan. While we have a moment, as uh, Jordan receives her diploma, I want to thank Keith West Baton Rouge Beautiful, Port Allen Rotary, Lofton, Don's, Walk-Ons, and Court Street, all proud sponsors of today's ceremonies, making our way through the Class of 2020 graduation ceremonies. Up next is James Timothy Frazier. Yeah, James uh, Timothy Frazier gave us our invocation today. Uh, That's right. Well. Yeah, yeah. A uh, member of the, uh, he's an honor graduate, was a member of the Best Buddies and 4-H Clubs. I remember the old 4-H Club. James was a member of Port Allen's football team for all four years and the track team for a year as well. He earned a qualifying score on his uh, uh, CLEP college composition exam. After graduation, James plans to attend Southern, or excuse me, Southeastern University. Heading down to Hammond next for James. Mm -hmm. Job well done. Up next, we have Carla Garcia. Carla was a member of the movie club. She was a member of the Port Allen High School cheerleading team her freshman year and the volleyball team her sophomore year. After graduation, Carla plans to attend BRCC to study chemical engineering and then later transfer to either LSU or University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I still say USL. Do you? Think I know you? I'm incorrect. Yeah, well, <laughs> no hating on that. Up next, we've got Jordan George. Jordan was a member of the basketball club, a proud graduate of the class of 2020 here at Port Allen High School. Cade Wazam, Brian Haldane, as we are bringing you the graduation ceremonies here on the campus of Port Allen with the Pelicans. Up next. Our next graduate coming out of their vehicle. A Muriel. Tremar. Gillard. Amiriel Tremar Gilliard. Amiriel is an honor graduate. She was a member of the Ladies of Royalty Club. Amiriel was a member of the Port Allen High School softball and track teams for one year. She also received awards for being on the honor roll. After graduation, Amiriel plans to attend Southeastern University and major in nursing. Caleb Grace is up next. Caleb was a member of the Barber Club. He was a member of the Port Allen football team for all four years. Received awards for being on the honor roll, as well as the fastest lineman. That's cool. All district for football as well. Uh, after graduation, Caleb plans to attend Southern University to study broadcasting and theater. Barber Club. Barber Club. Barber Club. That would have come in handy these last two months, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stefan Green is up next. Stefan was a member of the Cooking with Soul and Anime Clubs. He was a member of the Port Allen High School baseball team for two years. After graduation, Stefan plans to attend Southern University and eventually earn his master's degree in architecture. Awesome. There are some really, really fun clubs here at Port Allen High School from what I'm discovering. I'm the anime advisor. 
And we've got the anime advisor helping us out, advising me. Excellent. Here. Brianna May Harding is up next. Brianna brought us our Pledge of Allegiance and mission statement earlier today. She certainly did. Uh, she is an honor graduate, member of the Beta and Photography Clubs, where she served as president, was also a Port Allen football manager for two years, received awards for being on the honor roll and president, uh, principal's list, highest GPA in AP U.S. History, AP English 3, sports medicine, and AP government and politics, won first place in 2018 for her science fair submission. She also received a $600 Honesty and Integrity Award from the uh, Blazing Star Lodge. Brianna was also named the Port Allen 2019-2020 student, uh, student of the Year. After graduation, she plans to attend BRCC to major in criminal justice. Up next is Destiny Chardet Hawkins. Destiny was a member of the Ladies of Royalty Club. She was a manager for the Port Allen High School volleyball team for one year. After graduation, Destiny plans to attend BRCC for two years and transfer to Southern University, where she plans to study business management. Congratulations, Destiny. You are listening to the uh, graduation of Port Allen High School for the class of 2020. Kate Wozniak, Brian Haldane here on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge, WNXX Jackson and uh, WDGL. HD2 Baton Rouge. Exiting his car right now is Kashawn Darnell Henderson. Kashawn was a member of the Dodgeball Club. He was a member of the Port Allen High School track and football teams for three years. After graduation, Kashawn plans to attend Tallahassee Community College, where he accepted an offer to play football. He plans to major in business as well. Our next graduate, Brian, is Michaela Tashe Hill. Michaela is an honor graduate. She was a member of the movie club, was also a member of the basketball team for two years, received awards for being on the honor roll and principal's list. After graduation, Michaela plans to attend BRCC for two years and then transfer to Southern University to study nursing. She also plans to have her own hair salon and go to cosmetology school. Coming up next would be Misha Tinia Hill. Misha, as she, as she makes her way up to the stage right now to receive her diploma, we can let you know she was a member of the movie club while at Port Allen High School. I've been a member of the uh, streaming club the last couple of months. Well, haven't we all? Yeah. That's kind of where it's at right now. Hey, today's proceedings, today's graduation ceremony is brought to you by the Westside Family Grill, Smoothie King, Western Southern Life Insurance, uh, Adrian Paul and Bernard there, Rotolos, Judge Tanya Lurie, and Todd Bro from Heartland Payment Systems in Baton Rouge. Thank you all for your sponsorship of today's graduation ceremonies. Who's well, up next, Cade? Don't forget walk-ons in Brulee, uh, the Lanois Insurance Agency, and all outdoor power and equipment making today's broadcast on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge possible. Colin Dwayne Holloway, our next graduate. Colin was a member of the Cooking uh, with Soul Club. He was a member of the state championship basketball team. He received an award for most outstanding player of the game, has received numerous basketball scholarship offers, and after graduation, uh, he's not sure where he will attend school, but does plan to study business. Good on you, Colin. Good work. Up next comes Miles B. Hopkins. Miles was a member of the basketball and dodgeball clubs, a member of the Port Allen High School football, baseball, and track teams all four years while at Port Allen High School. After graduation, Miles plans to attend Southern University to earn a civil engineering degree while also playing either football or baseball. Our next graduate, Brian, is Kiwan Hunt. He was a member of the basketball and barber clubs, was a member of Port Allen's basketball and football teams for a year. Has received numerous certifications, including uh, CPR, BMS, PowerPoint, Microsoft, and Excel. After graduation, he plans to attend BRCC to study computer engineering. Congratulations, Mr. Hunt. Job well done. Students are driving one by one uh, to get their diplomas, kind of getting dropped off at the yep. stage and in their principal, Mr. James Jackson here at Port Allen, which, awarding them that diploma. Which brings us up to Erica Asiel Jackson. Erica was a member of the Ladies of Royalty Club. After graduation, Erica plans to attend BRCC to study child development. Congratulations, Erica. Uh, 
Our next graduate, Brian, as they uh, get out of their vehicle, is Taya Johnson. Taya was a member of the Cooking with Soul Club. She was a member of the Port Allen volleyball team for three years, the basketball team for a year. After graduation, she plans to attend BRCC to attain her associate degree, then transfer to Southern University to get her bachelor's in nursing. Which, br which brings us up to Ashanti Lillian Jones. Asha oh, my goodness, look at this on top of the car. On top of the car. The big blow up of Ashanti on top of the car. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. You're Something like you're not going to get with a reg regular graduation yeah. ceremony. Like at a hoops game. Once again, make it the Class of 2020 special. Hey, Ashanti was a member of the Best Buddies Club for three years. She was a member of the Port Allen High School track team all four years. After graduation, she plans to attend BRCC to study social work, then transfer to Southeastern University to obtain her bachelor's and uh, become a social worker after that. Very well done. Tierra Jones, our next graduate, uh, she is an honor graduate, was a member of the Beta Club. She was also a member of the Port Allen Powerlifting and Track Teams, received awards for being on the honor roll, an honor roll student, and from the state champion powerlifting teams. After graduation, she plans to attend Southern University to study nursing. Very nicely done. That brings us to our next graduate of the Port Allen High School Class of 2020, and that would be Marcus Joseph. Marcus was a member of the Cooking with Soul Club, was a member of the Port Allen High School basketball team for four years, and the football team for two. Marcus has received three football scholarships. After graduation, Marcus plans to attend Louisiana College to play football. Up next would be Princess Joseph. Princess was a member of the 4-H and Cooking with Soul Clubs. She was a member of the Port Allen High School volleyball team all four years at Port Allen. Princess received awards for being on the honor roll and making first team all district in volleyball her junior and senior years. She's received volleyball scholarship offers from Xavier University in Ohio, Salem University in West Virginia, and Jarvis Christian College in Texas. After graduation, Princess plans to attend Dillard, UNO, or Clark over in Atlanta. Making his way to the podium, our next graduate for the class of 2020 here at Port Allen, Ian Alexander Carey. Uh, Ian was a member of the Barber Club. After graduation, he plans to attend or plans to enter the workforce and someday own his own business. Following Ian as the next graduate of the Port Allen High School class of 2020 is Brandon Leon King. Brandon's an honor graduate. He was a member of the game, photography, and basketball clubs. Brandon was a member of the Port Allen High School baseball team for two years. Received awards for being on the honor roll, most improved in geometry, and a uh, character award as well. Brandon will be given a stipend every month as he attends ABC Pelican through the Propel American program. After graduation, he will attend ABC Pelican to learn the trade of pipe fitting. Walking up on the podium at the moment, receiving her diploma, Rainisha Knox. She was a member of the uh, Cooking with Soul Club a manager for the Port Allen girls basketball team, received awards for being an honor student. After graduation, she plans to attend BRCC and study accounting. Congratulations, Renisha Knox. That brings us up to DeCorian Lee. DeCorian was a membership of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Club. Was a member of the Port Allen High School football team for two years. After graduation, DeCorian plans to attend BRCC for welding or for pipe fitting. You're listening to the graduation of the 2020 class of Port Allen High School live from the campus of Port Allen. Kate Wazian and Brian Haldane here on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge. Maya Elijah Lee, our next graduate, a member of the Basketball Fellowship of Christian Athletes and Vibes 2.0 Clubs. She was a member of the Port Allen basketball team for three years and was captain her senior year, was named to the all-district team three times for basketball. After graduation, Maya plans to attend Fun du Lac Tribal and Community College to study sports medicine while playing basketball. That brings us up to Stephen Cole Lewis. Stephen was a member of the Beta Club, played football for two years, received awards for being on the honor roll. After graduation, Stephen plans to get his certification, uh, certification excuse me, in welding. Exiting his car right now, our next graduate is Justin Joseph Lewis. Justin was a member of the Science, Thespian, and Fellowship of Christian Athletes Clubs. 
was a member of the Port Allen High School track, powerlifting, uh, was co-captain there senior year, and football teams. He was also a senior captain on the football team. Justin has received Student of the Month honors as well as placing second in the second annual Joey Shoots powerlifting competition his junior year. After graduation, Justin plans to attend Clark Atlanta University and major in nursing to uh, become a nurse anesthetist. Anesthetist. Up next, are you seeing this, Cade? We this now have a streetcar. We have a streetcar, our first streetcar of the day. This is unique. Uh, this is what makes 2020 uh, and belong to 2020 alone. And it belongs to uh, Curtis Therese Mason, Jr. Yeah, he was a member of the basketball and 4-H clubs. After graduation, Curtis plans to attend BRCC. He's going to major in business administration, concentration in management, plans to transfer to the Southern University and A&M College in Baton Rouge to further his education. Congratulations. And he now has the title of the best vehicle so far. So far. In the graduation So parade. far. We could get a boat before we're done. Hey, Kirsten Katia Mason is up next. Kirsten is better known as Kiri or Hot Wheels. She's the eldest of the Mason siblings. Kirsten was a member of the Cooking with Soul Club. She received awards for being on the honor roll. After graduation, Kirsten plans to receive a certificate and job training as an administrative assistant to become an office assistant on Hot Wheels. Also, she is uh, one of the uh, other members of the graduating class in the uh, streetcar. A really cool way to approach and uh, hit the podium when you, uh, you arrive in something kind of special like this, unique to the city, unique to our area, unique to South Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, I think you're gonna, everyone's going to remember where uh, these graduates uh, made their mark here today. Alongside Cade Waz and Brian Haldin here with you for the Port Allen Class of 2020 graduation. Uh, if we could take a moment to check in on uh, some of the folks that helped make this show possible today. Yeah, our friends at the Walk-Ons right down the road over in Brulee, the Lanwa Insurance Agency, our friends at the Lanwa Insurance Agency uh, helping make this possible, as well as our friends at All Outdoor Power and Equipment. They are the ones making our broadcast possible today here on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge. Reminder, you can listen to us on 104.9 FM, 98.1 HD2, 104.5 ESPN.com, or through our free mobile app. And uh, we assume everyone is tuned in in their cars as they are approaching the podium. But if you're out there listening today, uh, we, we invite you to uh, tune in this afternoon at 4.30. We're going to be at the campus of Brulee High School for their graduation as well. Uh, Central Federal Credit Union is proud to congratulate the Brulee and Port Allen High 2020 graduates. The future is uncertain, but the direction is clear. That direction, forward. A Central Federal Credit Union moving forward together. Also, Oshner, Tony Clayton's campaign for district attorney, LSU, and REMAX professional Sabrina DePlace, all part of today's, uh, today's team that's bringing you this graduation ceremony, uh, this uh, parade that moves in front of Port Allen. And you're probably hearing it in the background right now, the bell going off to let you know that it's time for uh, uh, Kirsten uh, to uh, get back up on that, uh, get back up in that streetcar and, that is, and head that on is, down. That is so cool. So cool to have that. So, yeah, so far, the, uh, the best ride to a graduation that I, not only today, but I've ever seen. Uh, we could be topped, but I, I don't know. I don't know, Ryan. I think that's pretty special. It's, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to be topped today. I think we're there. Hot wheels. Hot wheels today in, in one of the best wheels we've ever seen. I yeah, will say uh, that. Yeah. Kirsten is uh, getting her wheelchair back up onto the streetcar right now. And that's, uh, that's where the name Hot Wheels comes from. You know, when you have a community like this, um, we see the pride. You see the smiles on, uh, on, on Principal Jackson's face. Uh, and some of the administrators are out there, those who are taking photographs. Uh, despite what has happened over the last couple of weeks and months, like, I, I just get the feeling that for a couple of minutes, for a little while, I, like, people are putting that on the, on the back burner and or making this special for these young men and young women. And I, it, no matter what comes of this, I think you can look at some of the, some of the bright spots today. Mm -hmm. Today is a bright spot for them. Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. And, and it's examples like this that are going to lead us past the whole, the whole short, tough part in, into the, the longer future, which is going to be brighter as a result of it. So... A warm day 
today, so we hope everyone is, uh, is well and staying hydrated. Uh, we appreciate everyone tuning in. Uh, we're going to see that's just another benefit of 2020 right there, Cade. Think of the number of classes that like graduated in a football stadium and just sat in the heat oh, in those robes all day yeah. long. I mean, you know, you're talking about air conditioning, you're talking about stretching out in a street car or, or whatever your parents' vehicle might be coming through the uh, coming through the line here at Port Allen High School. Every car decorated with at least a half a dozen balloons kind of hanging off the uh, the passenger and driver and, and, and side windows. There's every every grill on the front of the car is, is kind of draped with uh, like a vinyl banner with the student's picture, maybe a name, a slogan, a nickname. Uh, we saw what looked like a big head poster from a basketball game yeah. on the top of a vehicle coming out of the, the sunroof. Um, yeah, Port Allen High School colors uh, draped all over some of these cars, and all of them look like they just went to the detail shop. So it's a really cool day, and, and so far so good. I, I'm not going to say it because I'll, I'll jinx it, but everything's great as far as how things are moving along here at, at Port Allen, and we, uh, we hope Mother Nature continues to keep it that way for us. I know I'm supposed to be introducing the next graduate, but i got to grab a picture of this uh, streetcar before it gets out of here. All right. Up next is going to be... Uh, Tatiana Mitchell. Oh, Tatiana Mitchell's up next. Yep. She was a member of the soccer club while here at Port Allen High School. Congratulations, Tatiana Mitchell. Port Allen class of 2020 graduate making her way to the podium and reaching out for the diploma from Principal James Jackson here at Port Allen High School. That's going to bring us up to our next graduate who's pulling up right now. As we say, uh, congratulations, Ms. Mitchell. Jalen Moore is up next. Jalen was a member of the Cooking with Soul and Chess Clubs. He was also a member of the Port Allen High School baseball team. After graduation, Jalen plans to attend Southern University, where he plans to study engineering. All right, coming up, our uh, next graduate here in the class of 2020 here at Port Allen High School. Trey Morgan. Trey Morgan was a member of the uh, Cooking with Soul Club. He was also a member of the state championship basketball team. Trey received an award for most improved in English. Three. After graduation, Trey plans to attend Southern University and study management. I tell you what, if we could, uh, back in the studio, Casey, can we pause 10 seconds for our legal ID? No, no, no. You're listening to 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge, WNXX Jackson, KNXX Donaldsonville, WDGL HD2 Baton Rouge. Right back at it with the Port Allen High School Class of 2020 graduation as Miss April Northern is on stage receiving her diploma right now. April was a member of the Ladies of Royalty, Soul Food, and Mukbang Clubs. After graduation, April plans to attend Southern University and study accounting. Congratulations, April Northern. That brings us up to uh, Jalea Northern. Yep, Jalea is an honor graduate. She was a member of the Cooking with Soul and Prayer Clubs, a member of the powerlifting team, awarded uh, for being on the honor roll, as well as receiving participation awards. As graduation, Jalea plans to attend Southern University. She's going to study psychology and marriage counseling. Quick note that uh, today's ceremony is brought to you by Neighbors Federal Credit Union. Uh, Bruley Mayor Scott Rhodes wishing all the 2020 graduates all the best moving forward. Scott says 2020 has been unprecedented, but we can learn from it, grow from it, and be better for living it. Uh, thanks to Scott Rhodes, uh, the uh, town of Bruley Mayor, uh, for uh, his sponsorship of today's ceremonies. Up next? Up next is Reynold. Olany. He received an A. He received AB honor roll, principal's honor roll, and most improved PE award. Was also a member of the barber club. Plans to become a pipe fitter and get a heavy machinery license. Following Mr. Olany will be Mr. Potan, Tyler Potan, a member of the drama club. After graduation, Tyler plans to attend Baton Rouge Community College and he plans to major in graphic arts when he gets there. Okay. 
That brings us up to Michaela Marie Patterson. Michaela is an honor graduate, also named vice president of JAG. Michaela was a member of the Port Allen High School powerlifting team. She received awards for being on the honor roll and an outstanding lifter in powerlifting. After graduation, Michaela plans to attend the University of Louisiana at Monroe and major in dental hygiene. Following Michaela will be Trinity Mary Ellis Payne, who is, who is exiting her vehicle as we speak. There we go. Exiting her vehicle as we speak. Trinity was a member of the 4-H club, which she's been a part of since the third grade. After graduation, Trinity plans to attend Louisiana Tech and major in animal science. All right, Brian, our next graduate just about to get out of their pickup truck and enter the stage where uh, they await a diploma from their principal, Mr. James Jackson, Avery Nicole Ploche. An honor graduate, she was a member of the Beta Club for three years. She was a football manager for four years, received awards for being an honor graduate and Gridiron Girl Award for her football managing after graduation. She plans to attend BRCC to obtain an associate's degree in surgical technology. Congratulations, Avery. Which brings us up to our next graduate, who is Ariana Nicole Porter, as the car pulls up. By the way, just a quick uh, reset for those that might be tuning in uh, late, late in the broadcast here. Yep. As the graduates come through, it's basically a parade of cars uh, with the graduates in them one at a time. Yeah. So uh, the car pulls up, the graduate gets out, the graduate gets on stage and receives diploma, and then uh, the procession moves on. Ariana Nicole Porter's up next, a member of the Fashion and Cooking with Soul Clubs. She was a member of the Port Allen High School cheerleading squad for two years, Port Allen High School Royal Blue dance team for two years, power lifting for three years, and track for three years. Ariana received awards for being an honor roll and principal's list student. She is a four-time powerlifting state champion. After graduation, she plans to attend Southern University to major in nursing. All right, our next graduate coming out of their vehicle, approaching the stage and awaiting his diploma is Corwin Ross. He was a member of the Best Buddies and Flag Football Clubs. He was a member of the Port Allen football team for three years, baseball for a year, and track for two. He was awarded uh, for being on the honor roll and named three times to the first team all district defensive end in football. After graduation, Herwin plans to continue his football career by playing for Louisiana Prep Academy while studying construction management. Following Corwin is uh, Kaya Lachey Ross. Kaya was a member of the Ladies of Royalty and JAG clubs. She was a member of the powerlifting team. After graduation, she plans to attend Delta College, where Kay plans to study nursing. Kay, excuse me. Congratulations to Kay. Exiting their vehicle, our next graduate from the class of 2020 here at the campus of Port Allen High School, Tramel Scott who was a member of the Barber Club, another member of that Barber Club. After graduating, he plans to drive trucks while his dad, uh, with his dad and travel the world. Today is also Tramel's birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Tramel. Well-timed. That Barber Club keeps popping up, Kate. It does. That is a food club. I, look. You're making me hungry. It, no, in a, in a time like uh, in a time like a stay-at-home <laughs> order, a Barber Club, it just cannot be overstated the level of importance there. If you need your lettuce cut, check out Port Allen Class of 2020. Exactly. That brings us up to the next graduate, Thomas J. Shepard, Jr., an honors grad student, was vice president of the photography club. Thomas was a member of the Port Allen High School football and powerlifting teams for three years, was named captain his senior year, was awarded uh, for being an honor roll student, and was named to the first team all district for his role as a lineman in football. After graduation, Thomas plans to attend Southeastern Louisiana University to study business. Exiting her vehicle, our next graduate here at Port Allen, Dominique Brescia Snurl. Dominique was a member and president of the Hotties Club. She was a manager of the boys' basketball team and the assistant to Coach Dunbar for the volleyball team. 
received JAG awards as well as food and business certifications. Uh, after graduation, she plans to attend BRCC to obtain her associate degree, then further her education at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. That brings us to Ramey Elizabeth Sonier. As Ramey makes her way towards the stage right now, after graduation, she'll attend Baton Rouge Community College and plans to become a veterinarian technician. Congratulations to Ramey as the next graduate of the Port Allen High School class of 2020. Thanks so much to our friends at Walk-Ons and Bruley, the Lanwa Insurance Agency, and all outdoor power and equipment making today's broadcast on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge possible. Following Ramey will be our next graduate, Aliyah Springer. Aliyah was a member of the Ladies of Royalty Club, getting out of her car right now. She received college credit for scoring over a 50 on her math CLEP exam. After graduation, Aliyah is undecided on where she will attend. She plans to study criminal justice or some career in the medical field. Congratulations, Aliyah. Which, talking about the sponsors a second ago, Cade, want to say thanks to RAPPS Specialty Custom Laser Engraving, CC's Coffee of Port Allen, and Total Care Injury and Pain Centers. Congratulations to all the outstanding 2020 graduates. Keep your head high, your back straight, and always think of the positive possibilities that await you, says Total Care Injury and Pain Centers. Jesse Thomas is up next. Jesse, who is uh, shaking the principal's hand, receiving his diploma right now. Jesse was a member of the photography club while at Port Allen High School. Congratulations. A also a member of the anime club and the band. Anime club and love band. love band students. You got a tuba player right here. Former. Once one, always one, I guess. Uh, well, yeah. Do you, ever, yeah. you don't retire. You don't yeah. still have it, do you? No. Last time I picked up the old Sousa was probably 15 years ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Victor Torres is up next. Victor Torres is an honors graduate. He was a member of the photography club as well. Congratulations, Victor, on the uh, stage with his uh, principal, Mr. James Jackson, who's been all smiles oh, since we saw him. But a good recovery. A scoop no. and score no, here was, as he goes pick up the It rest. was a fumble but not a turnover. No. That's, they, Victor maintains possession as he makes his way towards his gift bag. There you go. There you go. Coming up next, Ajaya Ayanna Trusclair. She has a message for her students. Okay. Ajaya Ayanna Trusclair. Uh, I can't believe that four years went by so fast. I enjoyed my time at Port Allen High, and I'm proud to be a Pelican. To Mr. Jackson, I want to say thank you. You're an amazing principal. To my teachers, thank you, Ms. Davis, for always pushing me to do better. You taught me lessons I will never forget. Your love and kindness made me feel comfortable enough to learn so many new things. Miss Sadie, you are the sweetest person I know. You treated me like I was your child. Your patience and guidance helped me to grow each year. To the Port Allen class of 2020, our class is truly unique. We have weathered many storms, but nothing could hold us back. Always remember our time at Port Allen High. How awesome is that? Very well said. Very well said. You know, when these students arrive at the podium, uh, they are greeted by faculty members. They are greeted by their principal. Um, and, uh, you know, you see the staff here. You see the decorated vehicles. You see, you hear horns being honked and, 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 and cheers. The traditional method of, of going to a, a graduation where, okay, hold your applause. This is not it today. This is, this is, this is a fun graduation. This is an outdoor. This is, this is clap, be happy. Uh, you know, it, it, is, it is such a, a different dynamic, and it, it's really fun to be here. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't, they can't uh, have a whole lot of rules because the rules are unwritten in every yeah. chapter of what we're doing right now. Um, as, how many times have you heard over the last two months, we're writing the playbook? Yeah. And that, that, continues, uh, that continues on a day like today. Today's uh, graduation ceremony is brought to you by Keep West Baton Rouge Beautiful, by the Port Allen Rotary Club, by Lofton, by Don's, by Walk-Ons, and Court Street as well. Just a few of the many partners and sponsors that have lined up to help bring you today's graduation ceremonies as we make our way through the Port Allen High School class of 2020. Bunch of proud Pelicans making their way across the stage today. Uh, shaking Principal Jackson's hand, receiving their diploma, and then the, uh, the gift bag, which I understand uh, every single graduate gets, and there's something in there from every single sponsor that we've mentioned along the way. Coming up next, Kate? Yeah, our uh, next graduate to make their way to the podium is 
Jamaria Mache Washington. Jamaria was a member of the Cooking with Soul Club, a member of the Port Allen High Band of Blue for one year, and a medical trainer for the football team for one year. After graduation, Jamaria will attend Baton Rouge Community College for nursing through the Our Lady of the Lake and Propel America programs. Very well done, and congratulations, Ms. Washington. Our next graduate, Brian, is Jada Jamaria Washington. She was a member of the 4-H and yoga clubs, was a member of the Port Allen basketball team for two years, awarded honorable mention in basketball, as well as being part of the uh, district championship team. After graduation, she plans to attend BRCC to earn an associate's degree, then transfer to Southeastern to earn a bachelor's degree in nursing. That brings us up to Christian Wicker. Christian Wicker is an honors graduate, was a member of the Improv, Yoga, and Jag Clubs. She was a member of the Royal Blue Dance Team for three years and served as captain her senior year. Christian was also a member of the track team all four years, has earned certifications for micro enterprise, earned college credit for scoring over a 50 on her CLEP college composition exam. Christian has received an athletic scholarship offer from Missouri Valley College after graduation, is unsure of where she'll attend school, plans to pursue a career in either personal training or entrepreneurship. Congratulations, Christian. Up next is Edward Wilson. Edward, also an honor graduate, a yep. member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Club, was a member of the Port Allen High School track and football teams, was named football captain for two years. Edward received the Leonard Parker Award, was named to first team all district running back two years in a row, offensive MVP, Second team all-district defensive back received full scholarships to further his football career from Southeastern, Nichols, St. John University, Louisiana College, and Mississippi College. After graduation, Edward plans to further his academic and football careers at Southeastern University, majoring in kinesiology to become a chiropractor or a physical therapist. Receiving her diploma now, Destiny Joy Winfield. She is an honor graduate, a member of the Beta Club, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Cosmetology, and Cooking with Soul Clubs, a four-year member of the Port Allen volleyball team, track and powerlifting teams, captain for the powerlifting team. Her senior year after graduation, Destiny plans to attend Aveda Institute for Cosmetology. Very well done, Destiny. Some of those horns you're talking about again, the hordes and uh -huh. clapping going off again there. Coming up next on stage right now, actually, Cavante Young a member of the anime club, a member of the gaming club as well. Uh, Cavante, your next graduate from the Port Allen High School, class of 2020. Congratulations, Cavante Young. I say coming up next, is Cavante Young wraps us up, man. That is, that is all of our graduates. Yeah, that is the graduation class for Port Allen for the class of 2020. Congratulations to one and all. I don't know, Principal James Jackson is going to uh, give us Certify the diplomas, I believe, correct? You got to make it official. And now, graduates, the moment where we make this official. With the power entrusted to me by the West Baton Rouge Parish School Board as principal of Port Allen High School, and having met all of the requirements set forth by the Louisiana Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, I now pronounce you high school graduates. You may turn your tassels from the left to the right. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in celebrating Port Allen High School's class of 2020. Congratulations. Go Pals. 